Hi everybody, my name is Claire Bijou and I'm going to present to you today the small project I've been working on with the Professor Joshua Bayeux concerning scanning electrochemical cell microscopy analysis of hematite. So as we all know, there are a lot of challenges in the field of sustainable energies and the field of solar panels. For example, the use of sunlight energy to produce hydrogen via solar panels efficiently. We need for that an efficient solar, solar panel that is made of an efficient semiconductor. We are focusing during our project on a semiconductor named hematite. It's an iron oxide. Why do we use this um, semiconductor? Uh, because it's a semiconductor that is stable under illumination, that absorbs visible light, and also it has a very interesting electrochemical uh, properties. So when a hematite is in contact with water and under illumination, there is a competition between two reactions at the interface hematite water. So first of all, the water spilling reaction, that is the reaction that produces our hydrogen, and the recombination reaction that represents losses of energy. So the objective of the project is to uh, have a better understanding of the photoelectrochemical behavior of hematite. So in lab, uh, we um, synthesize our hematite on a fluorine time oxide via electrode deposition in a free electrode cell followed by an anemic process to get our final hematite. Uh, to analyze our hematite, we use a method that is named scanning electrochemical cell microscopy. Uh, why do we use this method? It is because it allows us to get uh, responses from our hematite at micro and nano scale. So um, SSCCM is, uh, is uh, using a droplet at the end of a microscopic pipette. So we see here um, an image of the pipette getting uh, a response from a microscopic parcel of a hematite right here. So I'm going to show you now some results. So first concerning um, the synthesis of a hematite uh, that is done via electrode deposition that we talked about earlier. Um, so during the electrode deposition, we observe an initial decrease uh, in uh, our current while the first uh, layer of material is put on top of our, of our support and uh, that is followed by pretty stable current. Um, then trans, uh, about the analysis, uh, transient photocurrent is a super interesting uh, measurement to do because it allows us to uh, visualize and quantify the amount, the amount of charges uh, that are lost in uh, recombination. So here we see a typical uh, uh, response, uh, photocurrent response of hematite. So you can see uh, when um, we put our material under illumination, when the light turns on, we, uh, we observe directly a current and then a decay. And here, uh, when we turn the light off and overshoot. So both those decay and overshoot, they are uh, losses um, due to the recombination reaction. So here's the comparison between uh, two uh, different hematite we synthesize for five or eight minutes via electrode deposition. Uh, we can see clearly that the one synthesized for five minutes has better result than the one synthesized for eight minutes. Uh, first of all, because uh, there is a higher photocurrent here at steady state, but also less losses here in uh, recombination, so smaller decay. So uh, we compared those results with the literature and we realized that there is actually a link between uh, the time of the electrodeposition reaction, uh, so the thickness of a film and, and the efficiency of a material. So when the film reaches a certain thickness, uh, the photocurrent uh, decrease, decreases due to the hematite low electron uh, or charge carriers in general uh, mobility. So here for the eight minute one, we reach uh, a, a, a thickness that was uh, too important to get a good efficiency. So about future work, uh, I'm gonna uh, work on a larger panel of uh, hematite with different electrode deposition times. And I'm also gonna uh, explore the scanning electrochemical cell microscopy uh, to uh, get, uh, as we said earlier, um, 
uh, analysis at a micro or nan nano scale and to get a better understanding of the recombination process. So to conclude, uh, we observe uh, uh, um, some results at macro scale for hematite with a direct link between uh, the thickness of a film and uh, the efficiency of a material. And we can go further uh, using uh, scanning electrochemistry microscopy. Uh, I thank you very much for your attention.